All right, keeping an eye on potential tropical cyclone number one, we will get another update from the Hurricane Center at 7 o'clock, not expecting anything dramatic. When you look at this satellite, this is the infrared as well as radar, what you'll notice are several little swirls. There's one here that is moving almost uh, toward the, the coastline of uh, Florida. You've got another kind of broad area here. There's still another one that is down south of Cancun, and even the hurricane hunters found several little vortices, little spins. And so what the Hurricane Center did was to try and estimate where the center is. They just kind of took the mean of all of those and put it right in the middle there. So this is not really the center of the storm because as we've said, a potential tropical cyclone is still just kind of an invest. Really, it is an unorganized cluster of thunderstorms moving towards South Florida at the moment. Now the forecast officially does call for it to at least gain some organization and some semblance of a tropical storm before moving on land. But by the time the center does maybe try and get a bit better organized and move on land. Most of the heavy rainfall will already be to the east of Florida. So what they're getting in now is the heavy rainfall that will continue through the overnight. And then by the time the center is crossing the coast, a lot of the heavier rainfall will already be well to the east. And it may be over the Atlantic that it finally has the upper atmosphere that allows for more development. Because right now, even though it is sitting over that warm loop current, it's not doing anything. The reason why it is a very hostile environment, dry air and wind shear preventing this from organizing. And it may be that this really does not get any better organized by the time it crosses the coastline in southern Florida tomorrow. 90